With the technical component of high resolution drawing in place, it was time to bring a long planned feature to life, an editor that mimics working at an easel. The primary motivation for its design was to have a big part of the screen uncovered by the UI, so that you can see the room or landscape behind it. This will provide an immersive way to draw things from the game world, like still lives you will encounter in art studios. As I draw the pixel art rendition of my easel editor in GIMP, I disable single window mode so I can easily open various references side by side to capture proportions and details. Like with most of my interiors, I'm referencing a model I previously built in The Sims. There were a few different easel designs available and I chose the one with a storage tray so it would be able to hold various tools needed in my editor. I draw the tools as black silhouettes first, making it easy to adjust their scale in space as I establish relative sizes of different objects. The cart on the left has a glass surface as a palette, just like the ones at the school where I shortly studied painting. It will initially display pre-existing color palettes, but what I really want to have is a paint mixing interface. The palette knife is placed there with this in mind. In Linea, the app which I use for drawing blueprint sketches in this devlog, they have a neat feature called Clear Ink. It allows you to use any painting tool as an eraser. I thought it fit nicely into my painting design, so you'll be able to access it with a bottle of turpentine, which is usually used to clean brushes. The eyeglasses will serve as a metaphor for viewing the canvas magnified in full screen mode, while the water jar doubles as the current color indicator and the bucket fill, just like in the current desktop editor. Three different brushes will let you choose between a square shape and a round shape, as well as precise pixel placement. Finally, the pencil will be used to sketch out the composition on a separate layer. You will also be able to hold it out over the scene as a sighting tool, learning how to accurately capture proportions through interactive lessons. In the end, that's the most important feature, because learning is what Pixel Art Academy is ultimately about.